What is up, good people? Jungle Inc. here. Hope you're doing well. You know, it's funny. Yesterday, I was perusing around on CoinGecko. And like many of these sites, you can look at crypto via category. Could be, you know, projects on Ethereum or Polkadot. Or you could look at gaming, DeFi, smart contract blockchains, things like this. Just looking for some inspiration, kind of just browsing around. And what was funny is I noticed this new category on there. And the subcategory of cryptocurrencies is not gaming or DeFi, but alleged SEC securities. It's, it's quite interesting to see that. I'll go over there, check it out. It's a huge list and some of the biggest within crypto. BNB, Cardano, Solana, Polygon, and, and just a massive swath of the crypto market. No XRP on that list. That was pretty interesting to see. But it just shows regulations in the U.S. are so wacko that we can't even figure out, you know, what's compliant, what is not. And I don't think this is a situation that's going to plague us too much longer. I mean, government's slow to act. We could be talking another 12 or 24 months. But I think we'll see this shore up as we see people like BlackRock getting into crypto, Fidelity, PayPal launching their own stablecoin. Uh, this is here to stay and we have to have sensible frameworks and we're just not there. We desperately need, you know, clarity in the United States because we can't go one by one and go through these court battles and then have to go to appeals. And it's just this never ending nonsense. Uh, it's going to get done with the big money here. But like anything in government, we'll take some time. All right. This is the question I want to ask everyone because it's hard for me to gauge. Are you still bullish on Flair? Are you buying FLR token right now? I got to tell you, I've been buying a little bit. You know, we're under one and a half cents here. And I was browsing around on the test network, saw some interesting activity. I, I don't know how close that stuff really is to launch, but I would guess, you know, we saw the launch. Everything's been stable. We got to be close to some new infrastructure rolling out here. Now, you know, I think that crypto is going to take a little bit of a tumble as we continue forward throughout this year. But what I like about Flare is the market cap's low enough where even in a bad environment, you could see some growth. And if we do see that price tumble down farther, well, we could be incentivized by more rewards and more airdrops. That could kind of soften the blow a little bit. I'm kind of looking at this saying, you know what, now is a good time. Just slowly acquire dollar cost average into this thing. And if the price decreases further, so be it. But outside of some of the launch drama, and it ain't easy to launch something like this. Things have been pretty rock solid and it's fairly robust out the box when you look at the core functionality there and we just got to see what they build from here some of that infrastructure we're all very excited about only time will tell but but if you wait until the world is perfect well you might be in some trouble there you might miss your opportunity let me know what you think because again i'm buying right now i'm kind of starting to get bullish on flare and the lower that price goes the more aggressive i will get uh, mike novogratz believes that the Bitcoin ETF, once it's finally approved, it will be this jolt of adrenaline for the whole crypto space. This is what I will tell you. I'm not super confident it's going to happen imminently, but I'm ultra confident it's happening. Like we know with the players that want one now, it's going to be sooner than later. While I'm sure the price will run up crazy when that happens, I don't think that's all it's going to take to get us to the next bull run. I think it's very similar to the Ripple Court case, setting the stage for the next growth phase, setting the stage for the future. It's an important piece of the puzzle. It's going to open this space up to a lot of people. But I don't think that moment that a Bitcoin ETF drops, that that's it, you know, all over, we're off to the races from there. Again, it's just another piece of the puzzle to fall in line. I still think we have some stuff to wade through here to get to that ultimate bull run we're all looking for. People will squawk. They will complain. You said that the Bitcoin ETF was a big deal. What the heck? Everything's like that. It's never typically this moment in time that we're aiming for that is that final catalyst that sends everything wild, right? It's usually not a Ripple court case win, a Bitcoin ETF, or some other magical moment in time. But these are important moments for cryptocurrency. Lastly, I saw this report by a Bloomberg analyst that believes that Ethereum competitors, well, they're all zombie chains. They're going to soon die off. And this is what I would tell you. I'm sure a lot of layer ones will die off. We don't need as many probably as we have now. But for sure, there's going to be more than one layer one smart contract chain. I'm not sure ultimately even Ethereum wins this. I've talked about this many times before. The fact they got all the apps, 
not a big deal. Just like we saw with BlackBerry, as soon as you had a better ecosystem in Apple and Google Android, stuff can port over very easily. Now, that's not to say that Ethereum won't be successful. I just wouldn't make it a shoe in It's too early. That's all I'm saying. But uh, no matter if Ethereum ultimately is the number one layer one smart contract chain or not, there's going to be other winners in this space. And there's a lot of compelling work going on out there. And I think you're shorting yourself if you just write them all off as zombie chains. There's going to be a lot of winners. Look for value and build for the long term. And I think you're going to do quite well. I don't think you can crown anything as king as of now, especially Ethereum. Let me know what you think down below. And as always, please like, please subscribe. The revolution will be televised right here on Jungle Link.